Judith, are you there? Hi, Tish. Hi. There. He's going. Oops. Yes, I'm here. Okay. Good. Good to hear. Um, and how's your day going, Julieta? Hi. Sorry. Oh. It is a big, big day. I'm not sure. Okay. It sounds like maybe you've got a choppy connection. Hopefully, it's not me. Um. Hmm. Okay. Luis, welcome back. Luis, how's it going? Hello, Joshua. I'm fine. Thank you. Okay. Nice. Good to hear. And so, Luis, what have you been up to? I am preparing to move to another city, so I am very busy, busy these days uh, moving. <laughs> okay. Nice. Um, what city are you going to move to? It's, uh, it's close to Belo Horizonte. Uh, Belo Horizonte is the capital of Minas Gerais State in Brazil, mm -hmm. so it's, it's one hour uh, uh, flying from here. Okay, so it's an hour flight from where you are now. That's not too bad, so pretty close. Yes, uh, there I, I'm going to start there, so this is the reason why I'm going there. Okay, and Elena, welcome to class. Elena, how's it going? Hi, Alex. Everything is great. How are you? Doing well. Thanks for asking. Um, Elena, I'm not sure. It might have been a while since I've seen you in class. Um, yeah, I think I was in a class like uh, a couple weeks ago or so. Okay. Nice. And yeah, how's your day today, Elena? Oh, wonderful. It's very cold outside, but otherwise it's nice. <laughs> okay, so it's cold outside, but otherwise you're doing all right. Cool. Um, and Julieta, how's your connection doing? I don't know. How is it now? Sounds better. Uh, what did you do today, okay. Julieta? Ah, today I I went to my father's office and then I bought a book on Amazon. What book? Uh, the the way of the bow. The way of the bow. The secret, okay. Yes, the secret uh, uh, writing of the school, Keki school. Keki, maybe. Okay. I'm not sure. Cool. That sounds interesting. Um, have you started it? No, no, no. I, I ordered on Amazon. Uh, okay, nice. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, so it'll take a little while to get there. All right, and so let's get started with today's class. So let's start with Luis. Can you read the title and the next few lines? Okay, teacher. Uh, business English. Today we will learn business expressions, talk about sales and customer satisfaction, practice when to use make, when and then when to use do. Nice. Um, practice when to use make and when to use do. All right, and let's go here. Luis, can you ask Laura the first question? So, Laura, uh, what business expressions do you know? Um, I don't know too many expressions of business, but um, I don't know expressions. Let's just switch around a little bit. Okay. Julieta, can you think of any? Mm -hmm. Business. Business. Oh, go ahead. No, 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 don't worry. <laughs> no, 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 no. Please. No, it's a, no, no, don't worry, speak. Feel free. <laughs> no, please. If you know any expression, for me it's good because I'm going to learn it, so... Go ahead. <laughs> uh, no, no. Please tell something. Oh, you guys are going to kill me. <laughs> Elena, what about you? Do you know any business expressions? Uh, well, when I think about business expressions, I think about something like business meeting. So it's just radio communication without slang and um, 
talking about economic things probably. Um, things like margin profit, key performance indicators come in mind. Yeah, Sorry. margin profits. I didn't hear the other two. Can you repeat those? KPI, it's a like key performance indicator. At least this is what we used <laughs> in our company. That's good. Performance indicators. Yeah. Key um, performance. Like different negotiations. So it's probably contracts. Um, yeah, something like that. Okay, good. Yeah, that's really nice. And Alexander, welcome back. Alexander, how's it going? Hi. It's going well. Nice. Good to hear. Okay. And Elena, can you ask Luis the next question? Sure. What are some of your tasks at work, Luis? Uh, I edit documents. I code. Uh, I code web. Uh, uh, I program web codes. Nice. I program web, web codes. Yes. The first sentence I said edit. You wouldn't add the ed because it's something that you generally do. No, I mean edit. I think he means edit. Edit. Okay. Yes. Okay. Good. Yeah. Um, okay, so you edit documents and you program web codes. Good. Which nice. is the and difference of pronunciation, teacher? Okay, so add, add, add to edit. And then added. Wow. <laughs> so edit, added. Added. Yeah. Edit. So, okay. Yeah, edit. And added. One more time. Edit. Added. Good. Uh, I'm sorry, Joshua. Um, I have a question about this board. And uh, what? Um, what is I'm? What is I want to say? Add. I, I have to say, add or add. 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 Yeah. Add. Okay. I, I always thought that add. Add. Yeah, add. I think that sounds about right. Um, good question, though. And, okay. Luis, can you ask Laura the next question? Laura, uh, do you have any goals at work? Explain. Well, I have to pass an exam. That this is my goal because in order to improve my job, if I pass this exam, I could be a better job. So this is my main goal nowadays. Okay. Um, so this is my goal because if I pass yes. the exam, I can get a better job yes. or get a promotion you could say yes <laughs> um, promotion okay. nice really good um, good goal um, okay and I think this is good does anybody have any questions on this page yes uh, white collar and blue collar are being in this expression or not yeah for sure, that would be a business expression. Um, or they would be business expressions. Uh, do you know the difference between white collar and blue collar is, Julieta? Yes. Um, uh, blue collars are workers in, a, in uh, an industries. And white collars are workers uh, in the company. They are um, employees. Yeah, um, maybe workers in manual labor industries. 
So we could have like carpenters and plumbers and things like that, but also factory workers. Um, deal with finance or other non labor intensive things. So lawyers, doctors, things like that. Um, we'll do white collar. Um, Okay, but good. Really nice job. Any other questions here on this page? Okay, let's go through these words. Let's have Julieta. Can you read the title and the words? Vocabulary. Bottom line. Chew something over. Blow by blow. Do it. Back to the drawing drawing board. Across the board. Call the shots. Cut our loses. Cut corners. Crop out. Good. Losses. Losses. Uh, where is it? So right here. Mm. Losses. Uh, shoot. So it sounds like losses. losses. There you go. Losses. Cut our losses. Losses. OK. And. Yeah, so does anybody have any questions of, excuse me, about any of these words? Anything, <laughs> any, any word. <laughs> yeah, bottom line. Does anybody know what bottom line means? Yeah. Hmm? It's like, uh, you know, uh, uh, at the end uh, or um, in conclusion. Okay, so at the end or in conclusion, that's the bottom line for sure. Um, all right, nice. And how would you use it in a sentence? Can anybody? Th does anybody think they can use this in a sentence? Oh, can I try? Yeah. Uh, so, um, for example, let's take uh, the situation and some you know boss uh, was explaining some. Uh, goals on this month, and uh, at the end of the uh, conference, uh, he said. So, and the bottom line, uh, it is our, um, I don't know, um, our problem, our financial problem. We have to achieve this. We have to. Um, I'm sorry. Um, mm, Financial we have, problem must be solved. We have to, uh, yeah. Yeah, so the bottom line, like the thing that's most important, um, the one thing that matters. So you could have, you know, a lot of different facts. So if you think of like a, a math equation, um, so you have numbers all up top, and then it kind of reduces, and it gets to something finally really simplistic at the bottom. And so this is the the bottom line, the most important thing. So, um, yeah, we've got like all the math equations, times and stuff. It simplifies to the bottom line, the most basic thing, the most important thing. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Um, we'll practice a little bit more with it too. Um, what about chew something over? Does anybody know what chew something over means? Mm, I, I I only have a guess. Okay. Uh, I, I know it means chew, and maybe it's uh, the similar to this, and it's like uh, to chew away something or. Uh, uh, to to solve something maybe. Okay, not quite. Chew something over is more like think about something. Usually intangible. Um, with no direct answer. So um, you can chew over if your employee asks you for a raise. You can be like, I'll chew it over this weekend and I'll come back to you with an answer on Monday. Um, so yeah, you chew over something that's not like a direct yes or no, but it's to think about something, if that makes sense. So you wouldn't necessarily chew over a math problem, 
you chew over maybe a business decision or an investment decision, something that's a little bit more complicated. Blow by blow, any ideas? Maybe it's like step by step? Mm -hmm. Yeah, step by step, perfect. So we'll go over the business proposition blow by blow, step by step, little part by little part. What about blew it? Forget it, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. Um, Do it? Like, go get it. Oh. Maybe failed something. Yes. Yeah, messed something up. We totally blew it. You won't have another chance again. Um, but Ken, welcome to class. Ken, how's it going? <laughs> Yes, I'm fine. How are you? Doing well. Thanks for asking. Nice to see you again, Ken. Good to see you again. All right. And back to the drawing board. What's this mean? To start again. Uh huh. From basics. So you start again from the basics, from the very beginning. What about across the board? You are in a difficult point, so maybe you can go up or you can go down. Um, not quite. How about, does that help? Profits are down across the board. No one's doing well. What does that mean? It's getting low. Like it? all over? Yeah, it's all over. Everywhere. So across the board means everywhere. Um, so if you say things are down across the board or things are up across the board, it's like everything is doing really well or everything is doing really poorly. Um, so everything that's related to this is across the board. Um, what about call the shots? Is the person who has the power, no? Mm -hmm. Who makes the decisions. Shots, in this case, are decisions. Um, cut our losses. Get away fast. Yeah. Um, and get away quickly. We would want to use an adverb because we're describing a verb. Um, so we're describing how you get away. You get away quickly. It's a small thing. Get away fast would sound natural to most people. Um, cut our losses, yeah, get away quickly. Um, forget about investments that didn't work and let them go. So if you cut your losses, you let things go that maybe you invested in that didn't work out, you just forget about them and say, okay, fine, we'll cut our losses, we're not going to think about those things anymore, we're just going to accept the fact that we've lost money for that investment. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Cut corners. What's that mean? Okay. So it's to do something quickly and um, maybe poorly as well. So if you cut corners, um, mm -hmm. you're just trying to get it done. You're not really trying to make a quality product. You're just trying to do something as fast as possible. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. um, okay. And what about cop out? What does it mean to cop out? I think it's be uh, supportive. Not quite. So maybe avoid the responsibility. Yeah, it's to avoid doing something that you should because it's difficult. Um, so Samantha totally copped out on asking the boss 
uh, to give her the week off. Um, she didn't say anything, and she's going to have to work through, I don't know, uh, our vacation. Something like that. So if you cop out, you just don't do something because it might be difficult. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, good. And does anybody still have any questions on these? Uh, something that we should clear up? If, yes, if you don't mind, I don't see clearly what's the meaning of fluid is. Yeah. What's know. the meaning of what? Ble bleed is the fourth Blue word. Fluid. Okay. Yes, fluid. So if you mess something up, if you make a, a complete error, um, so he had a chance to become the CEO, but when he was caught lying about his um, graduate or maybe um, college thesis, he blew the opportunity. So he like messed up the opportunity. He blew it. Does that make sense? Yes, thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Can I say blow it? Uh, yeah, if you're using the present tense, so I'm totally going to blow this. Okay. Yeah. Okay, any other questions? Okay, good. Um, let's do a little bit of practice with these. And let's start with Elena. Can you read the title? Fill in the blanks plus conjugate the verb. I'll try the first one. Okay. Why don't you... <laughs> Why don't you chew over my proposition while I, t I, while I crunch while I crunch these numbers? Nice, good job. And okay, and uh, what about the next one, Ken? The uh, the initiative is uh, totally uh, gonna. Uh, is gonna crash tomorrow. Ah, so this is a new sentence. <laughs> so the initiative. Okay. So there's the period here. I know it's kind of hard to see. Okay, initiative totally to totally to crash. What does this this word mean? To crash. So yeah. Uh, it's like we, I, I need to use this. Uh, I need to change this word in proper way in the sentence. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll need to conjugate this that okay. verb. The initiative. About, yeah. Think about a plane crash. Okay. Um, initiative so, total crashes. Or crashed. Yeah. Crashed. Mm, tomorrow. Uh, we are going. We are going. We. I don't know. We. Uh, we are going to go. <laughs> or you we will go. Mm -hmm. Or we'll go. Yeah. And try to start from scratch. And go. Ah, and and choose the idiom. One of the idiom. Yes. Okay. Try try to start from there. Uh, Back to the drawing board and try to st start from scratch. Good. Nice job, Ken. That was a tough one. Uh, what about the next one, Luis? Numbers to fall. Uh, uh, is up across the board. Numbers to fall up across the board mm -hmm. these past months. We need to increase sales now. Yeah, and we need to conjugate to fall. 
is falling uh, numbers are falling these past months so our following is the present progressive so that would only be the present we need something that goes into the past um, has been falling or really really close but numbers remember it's the third person or the third person plural they has. have been falling because numbers is plural so it's third person plural so you don't need the third person s okay does that make sense so I have you have he has but we have and they have okay teacher that's good okay. can we say have fallen yes you could say numbers have fallen across the board these past months that works as well Thank you. Um, Laura what about the next one let me see a weekend quality product even if we there we can we I'm a little lost. <laughs> okay. This we can't cut corners anymore. Yeah. We need qualified products even if they will cost more. Would huh? would cost. Yeah. I think we just use a simple present here. That's oh, if they cost more. Okay. Yeah, even if they cost more. Okay. Um, um, but good. Really nice job. Does that make sense? Do you understand why cutting corners doesn't produce quality products? <laughs> no, really. <laughs> okay. But I don't mind. Later I can revise everything. Maybe I need more time <laughs> to understand. Yeah, sure. Yes. Sure. Uh, uh -huh. I think it's because uh, the quality of the products can uh, be worse. They they must keep the quality. So if they they make the the products worse, they will not sell anymore. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So if they make the product worse, they won't sell anymore. Um, I'm trying to get a picture of so cutting corners. Um, if you think about it, like driving um, is probably a good metaphor for cutting corners. Let's see if we can actually get this picture up, and it's probably not going to happen. There it is. Um, so this person is trying to cut a corner. He's trying to, you know, go the quickest route. Um, if you think about it, like in in shapes. So if you have, oh man, sorry. Um, if you have a shape, and you want to get from maybe the point here, uh, and you want to get all the way to the point here. The quickest way to do it is to cut the corner. So you cut off the corner, but maybe there's a, a really important thing here that you need to go around. So it takes more time, but you do it right. Um, does that make sense? So if you don't cut corners, you take more time to do something right. It's the same of the chart cut? Yeah, so you don't take any shortcuts. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Any That's other questions? Okay. Um, so hopefully that makes sense a little bit, Laura. Um, Thank you very much. Yes, yes. Yeah. Now everything is clear in my mind. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I'm glad. Definitely, if you've got any questions, always ask. It's it's better to take our time to actually go through them. Um, Julieta, what about the next one? 
No, I can't see the page. Oh, okay. Um, oh, okay. no, I can. I don't know why. <laughs> okay. Uh, Mark. Close the shot. Mm. If things Sorry. improved, improved, <laughs> yeah, that's my problem. improved recently, it's because of his uh, initiatives. Yeah, uh, if things improved recently. Maybe something that makes it into the present as well, so the present and the past. Have improved? Yeah, I'd say have improved. If things have improved, you could also say if things have been improving. It sounds good too. Um, but yeah, I think I think that works. Nice job, Judy. Um, okay. And does anybody have any questions here? In the last sentence, um, Mark calls the shots. So, is it is action going on now, or it's already happened in the past? It's something that generally happens. So this is a habitual thing. This is like a, yeah, just like a general state. So it's a so general so state that he, no one does anything, and this is the person that makes decisions, and he does that, yeah, and so that's improve. Yeah, he is the boss. He calls the shots. Um, so it's like just a general state. Um, so you cannot say that like a week ago he did something, so he called the shots. Yeah, like you could say that. In this case, that's not really what we're talking about. But yeah, last week Mark called all the shots, and our numbers dropped uh, through the floor. <laughs> It's another expression. Um, okay. All his fault. We are in trouble. So, yeah. So he called all the shots last week. He's not doing it this week. OK. Yeah. Thank you. And any other questions? Yes. What is the boss of Chu? Chu? Mm -hmm. OK. So it's like. Domesticate. <laughs> I think that's a kind of a synonym in a couple different languages. Oh. Like, uh, I said, what is the past? Oh, Chewed? what's the past? Chewed. Okay. Um, yeah, chewed. Any other questions? <laughs> okay. And. Let's skip that one for now. We can skip that one too. Let's try some make or do. And gosh, I forget where we were. Um, uh, Alexander, can you read the title and try the first one? Sure. Make or do. I think you are making a big mistake. Good. Nice job. And Elena, what about the next one? We need to make a plan. Mm -hmm. Good. And Ken, the next one. Okay. Henry is bringing something to drink, and I'm maybe baking a cake or making a cake. <laughs> yeah, making a cake. We need to use the make or do. Baking would work. <laughs> or eating a cake. Yeah, any of those, <laughs> I guess. Luis, what about the next one? You are more likely to make more harm than good. Um, not quite. To do? Yeah, <laughs> like more likely to do more harm than good. All right. Yeah. Again, so it's just one or the other. So, good. Uh, Laura, what about the next one? Mm -hmm. I'm going to make you an offer you can't refuse. Yeah, 
Nice. And what about the next one, Julieta? Can I make a suggestion? Mm -hmm. And what about the next one, Alexander? You need to do some work. Ah, you need to... Uh, you need to do some more work. Good. Elena, the next one. He's lazy. He just makes more work for the rest of us. Yes, yes. And Ken, the next one. We shoot an exhibition in this case. We shoot... Hmm... Uh, admit. I don't know. Okay, so we need to use the verb to make or to do. Oh, sorry. Oh, do, <laughs> do, do. Ex uh, an ex exception. Make an, make an exception. Exception. Yeah. Yeah. Make an exception. Exception. Mm -hmm. Exception. Exception. All right. What about the next one, Luis? Can you do me a favor? Mm-hmm. Laura? It's not what we want, but we'll have to make the best of it. Good. And Julieta? Thanks for doing me a good turn. Yeah, this is a tricky one. What does that mean? Thanks for doing me a good turn. I don't know. Does anybody know? Okay, so it's like saying thanks for doing something good um, for me, or thanks for helping me out, and it implies that you're going to do something good the next time. Mm the next, you know, turn. So it's like kind of saying, thanks for, you know, helping me out here. I'll help you out in the future. Um, if you pat my back, I'll pat yours or scratch your back and vice versa. Um, yeah, it's a pretty common expression, though. Thanks for doing me a good turn this time. Does that make sense to everybody? Mm -hmm. Okay. Any questions on this page? Okay. Um, we could try this. Let's go back and take a look at this. And let's have Alexander. Can you read the role of the boss? And Elena, can you read the role of the worker? All right. Uh, what we need is an overarching strategy to stimulate our innovation. Or you could stop smothering the innovation we already have. That's the toughest idea I've heard in my entire life. Good. And Can there you... it is. <laughs> nice. Sorry, I interrupted there. Good job. Um, dumbest. 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 Sorry. Mm -hmm. And overarching. Overarching. Yeah, overarching. overarching. Strategy. What it means? What does it mean? Good. Good question. Nice correction. Does anybody know what an overarching strategy is, or what overarching means? I can try to guess. Maybe um, something too difficult. When, for example, when you can do things one way, which is much easier, but you are doing them other way, which is more complicated, takes more time, and it's not really clear why you do it this way. Um, I think you're close here. Um, overarching is just like covering everything. Um, so yeah, if you think of like a bridge has an arch, which is just that curve. And so an overarching strategy is just a strategy that covers everything in a business. So it, it goes over everything, mm -hmm. kind of like an umbrella. So it's like I'm saying an umbrella strategy would be the same as an overarching strategy. Yeah. Does that make sense, guys? 
So is it like a strategy that covers, for, for example, every department? Yeah. So, so, oh, everywhere in the company, right? Yeah, everything in a company. So overarching is just that deals with everything um, okay. from the top down. Yeah. Any other questions here? Smothering, maybe? Here. OK. Does anybody know what smothering means? I know, in example, smother the fire. So it's mm -hmm. put down fire. So it's like killing the innovation. Yeah, it's suffocating it, pretty much. So if you smother a fire, generally you like put a blanket on the fire. Um, yeah, it's killing it like that. Um, by not letting it breathe. Okay, and so let's have maybe uh, Ken. Can you explain what's happening in this comic? Mm, this is difficult. <laughs> I couldn't get a punchline. I get it, teacher. Okay, yeah, go ahead, Luis. It's because the guy is giving an idea and he um, was appointed the the innovation was being smothering. So he's killing the the innovation because he said it's the best idea. Hmm? So, so nobody in the company is free to to speak because he's he just the prove he just proved the point. You no, know, I think. Hmm? Yeah, so he just proved the point of Elena's character. Um, so yeah, we need to stimulate something, or we need to stimulate innovation in our company. Um, we need a plan for it. And so, so this guy's plan is like, well, you could stop smothering the innovation that we already have, so you could stop killing the ideas that we have. Um, and then he's like, well, that's the dumbest idea I've ever heard in my whole life. So he smothered the innovation, I guess, and so then the man says, well, and there it is. So the idea of smothering the innovation, it just happened again. Yeah, really good job explaining that, Luis. Um, does that make sense, Ken? Yeah, yes. Somewhat. <laughs> <laughs> somewhat. OK. Sorry. Um, don't be sorry. It's a little bit tricky. So yeah, so this is the boss. And again, he. You know, kills the innovation. He, he's the reason why the company is not innovative, <laughs> and so he proves it uh, again and again. But Bacho, welcome to class. Bacho, how's it going? Thank you. I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing really well. Thanks for asking. Bacho, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Georgia. From Georgia? Georgia. Yeah, yeah. This is not the state ah, of yes. America's country. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was just a, a brief reaction. I know where Georgia is. Um, okay. And so nice to meet you, Bacho. Thank you. Does any... okay. And Luis, can you ask Laura the second question? Okay. Do you, Laura, do you think your company encourages or... I, I can't see it, teacher. Yeah, sorry. Or... Hold on. Stifles, I, I don't know what this, uh, this stifles, I don't know, innovation. Oh, there you go, stifles. Uh, stifles, innovation, explain. Well, I think that they encourage innovation because they are always looking for new ways of doing the things with the latest new ideas that came to the market. <laughs> okay. Um, with a... Uh... Okay, can you give an example maybe, Laura? Mm -hmm. Imagine that there are a new... 
computer software that we can use and can make our work easiest so they always try 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 new new ways of of the the work um, <laughs> try new ways of doing work yes or try new try new ways to do work i think probably sounds work. better in order to be more efficient and faster workers nice yeah in order to be more efficient and faster good I think that sounds great. Okay, and yeah, I think that's good. Does anybody have any questions on this page? Okay, and let's go on. Let's try that. Let's try this, and let's have Julieta. Can you read the role of the mother? Okay, mother, your son just started to work for you. He wants to increase your internet presence to help boost sales. He's a smart kid, but he really doesn't know how your business, which you have been in for 20 years, works. And create according to what has worked in the past. Yeah. Um, maybe instead of using work too many times, function. But good. Encourage him to work according to what has functioned in the past. All right. Alexander, can you read in the role of the son? Yeah, sure. Your mother just hired you, and you want to hurry in her business to be more internet-friendly. She's uh, resisting because she liked the way things have worked in the past, and she isn't comfortable online. Convince her to change her business model. Good. And so, maybe let's start with Julieta, if you're the son. What would you say to start this conversation, Julieta? Mm. Mom, we need to change something in the, the business. Okay, and Alexander, how would you respond? Uh, how are you going to do that? Uh, because I heard that you was trying to uh, to create some uh, you some new site for us, but uh, a new site for us, and I think it's uh, not a good idea because you know we are funeral agency, and <laughs> who is gonna uh, visit our page <laughs> to 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 deal with us? I think it's uh, not profitable in in that field, you know? Okay. I, I, I don't think, yeah. Yeah, again, I don't think it's a good idea. So for negative, we need to use the auxiliary um, to do. So I don't think it's a good idea. Um, and you said we're what? So we're, I don't think it's a good idea. What, what kind of business were they working? Funeral agency. <laughs> okay, so we're <laughs> a funeral agency. Who's going to visit our page to deal with us? I don't think it's profitable. Okay, um, that's good. Nice. Um, and let's have Elena. How would you answer? Um, Mom, it's twenty first century, and what's the first thing? people do when they want to find out something they don't know. They go online. They open Google and type, find me, you know, agency to bury my aunt or something like that. And, <laughs> <here we go. laughs> and usually they open couple first links and choose something from there and call to the agency and ask their questions. This is how it works. And if we don't have internet page, all these customers who could probably find us in the internet, they will never know about us. Nice. These customers 
will never know about us. Good. Really nice job. Uh, Ken, how would you respond if you're the mom? Uh, yes, but uh, we are keeping this business model and and uh, for 20 years, and it works well uh, now. So it's risky to change our business model. Okay. It's risky to change our business model. Yeah. Um, present perfect progressive here. Okay. Uh, we have been keeping. Yeah. We've been keeping. Or even we have kept, so maybe it's just the present mm -hmm. perfect. Okay. We have kept. Okay. And it's worked well. Just give you a change of business model. Okay. Laura, how would you respond? Let me think. We should try. You, we should try it just to see, to test the water. And if it doesn't work, we don't have anything to lose. Yeah, if it doesn't work, maybe we haven't lost anything. Um, you could say we don't have anything to lose if it doesn't work. Yes. If it just it just changes the the meaning of it if you put it at the beginning or the end. Mm. So if it doesn't work, we haven't lost anything, or we won't have anything to lose if it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. But good, really nice answer, uh, Julieta. How would you respond? We are a serious agency. We can uh, lose our reputation because of thinking about a website, uh, for me, it's a cheesy choice. Okay. Um, a website for me is the cheesy choice. Mm -hmm. Nice. Good use of cheesy. Um, Alexander, how would you respond? <laughs> Can I uh, add something for mother? <laughs> because uh, I like her old. <laughs> sure. uh, so you you suggest to create a site where we uh, will adver uh, advert our agency. So how do, you th how do you think what we are going to uh, advertise? Are you going to die? Call us. Oh, Thompson. <laughs> so I think uh, it's. Uh, I don't think it's a. Uh, it's. It's a good idea because you know, nobody wants to die, and nobody wants to know where the place to, you know, to provide that. <laughs> uh, where the place that helps. You with that is okay. Yeah, I think that's good. Nice job. Uh, and Elena, how would you respond? Mommy, you're so right. Nobody wants to die, but what happens to everyone? Everyone dies. Thanks. Um, so let me try my idea. It doesn't require a lot of investments and I can do everything by myself and if it brings positive results, results we accept it. If not, we keep your business model. Nice. Good job. That's a really good suggestion. Really nice work. Um, does anybody have any last questions before we finish up? Okay. So we are just finish about out of time. Yeah, we're just about out of time. No, no, uh, no. <laughs> I have a question about this, uh, you know, phrasal verb fishing, uh, finish up. And okay. In, in, in what case uh, should I use it? In yeah, what just when you're finishing something. Uh, so the game is finishing up. Uh, I'm finishing up cooking dinner. Just when you're uh, ending something. 
Yes, but is it there some you know different? Is there a difference between you know just finish or finish up? No, pretty much the same. It's just uh, the choice of their person. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good. But thanks again for coming in, and hopefully I'll see you guys again soon. Uh, have a really good day. Thank you very much. Thank Bye. you. Bye. 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 Bye.